Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about our next big cooldown that's going to be occurring. But before I get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather related content. And also make sure to check out the links in the description for my social medias. And the link in the pinned comment is going to have our Discord server, which is super awesome and I highly recommend it if you do have Discord. Now, we're going to get right into things. Looking at the European Ensemble model, we're going to start out on the 20th of August here. But before I get started, I would like to mention that this is after the heat wave happens. You're actually going to watch the heat wave on the East Coast still going on that I was calling for. Uh, a lot of people with the temperature forecast get really confused. They're like, well, if you're calling for a cool down now and last week you were calling for a heat wave, what happened to the heat wave? Well, the heat wave wasn't supposed to last 10 days. If you watch the entire video through, I do break them down day by day. So you will see that it was supposed to end. I think I either called for it to end on the 17th or like the 21st or something. It lasts longer than that. You'll see it actually lasts pretty far into the 20s, probably like the 22nd, 21st or 22nd, uh, the heat wave lasts on the East Coast. Anyway, I just needed to get that out there. We see our little bit of cool temperatures there for Montana and North Dakota on the 20th, but it's still just super warm for the Eastern United States by this point. As we move on to the 21st, you can see the cold has really taken over Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Minnesota, and a little bit of Wisconsin there. You can see those greens. That's where we're going to be uh, 9 to like 13 degrees below average Fahrenheit. So that's pretty far below average when you're in the greens. The dark blues are like 5 to 7 degrees. And then the light blues are like 1 to 3 degrees. So I hope that kind of clarifies everything. I don't have the bar on screen, so that's really the problem here. Now, moving on to the 22nd, you can see that we do have some of those greens there for North Dakota and Minnesota. But really, the cold has taken over the Dakotas, Nebraska, Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan. All of these areas are below average. You can see that it's still very, very far above average on the east coast north of Virginia, though. So we still have that heat wave in place for those areas. But by the 23rd, at 12Z, you can see the cold is there for some of the Dakotas still, but really Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, Michigan, Indiana, Illinois, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, and New England is starting to go to slightly below average or average. So that heat wave is really getting pushed out. And you can see the warm is, is offshore by this point and still in the southeastern United States, but the northeast is kind of breaking away and going below average temperatures by this point. Here's the 24th, and you can see the cold really takes over the eastern United States, so the northeast, sorry about that, my computer made a noise, the northeast, mid-Atlantic, Virginia, all these areas are below average by this point, all of the Great Lakes, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, all of these areas are below average by the 24th, but you can see by the 25th, it's starting to weaken a little bit, so we're still slightly below average in Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, D.C., Delaware, New Jersey, up through New York, and the New England states like Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and, and Maine, all alike, pretty far below average. By this point, it's like 5 degrees, 5 to maybe 7 degrees below average and a lot of those darker shades of blue, but it's still probably what I would consider slightly below average at this point, but that's the 25th, and it really moves out after that point, the cold kind of starts to go back to closer to average. Uh, just giving you guys a little bit of hint of what's coming up. Around the 30th, I am seeing signs of another big cooldown, even bigger than this one, to start September off. So it's going to last from about the, I would say, the 29th through the 2nd of September. Uh, I'm seeing signs on all models for a huge cooldown, basically, for the beginning of September. So that's going to be coming up and possibly going to be what our next... Uh, big cooldown video is about is going to be that time frame. Now we're moving on to our GEFS, which is the GFS ensemble model. And again, on the 20th, you can see basically warm temperatures across the board. A lot of, you know, you know, far above average there for Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas. Again, if you watch my weekly forecast, I was calling for this, uh, the death ridge to still be in place at this point. And then the East coast, we've also called for a heat wave on the East coast. And you can see it's still in place on the 20th. Now by the 21st, we see that cold, just like on the European Ensemble model, start to head down into the Dakotas, Minnesota, Wisconsin, a lot of those greens on this one, which is again, nine degrees or more below average. And so North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and then we're still very warm for the East Coast, like North Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, DC, Delaware, 
New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York, all of the New England states. Again, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, still pretty far above average. And then up the Rockies into the northwestern United States, just like I said in my weekly forecast, we are seeing uh, this look pretty similar at this point. There is some also some cooler temperatures there for Texas, a little bit of Texas there, eastern Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. Now, on the 22nd, you can see North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Illinois, a little bit of northern Missouri there as well, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New York. We're all pretty far below average. In those lighter shades of green, very light, I mean, that is close to 15 degrees below average in Minnesota, so it's going to be quite chilly for this time of year, actually, for you guys. Uh, you're going to see temperatures far below average, and it's going to be interesting to see how cold it really gets, actually, for these areas. A little bit of cooler temperatures there for Washington and Oregon, for sure, uh, but really warm overall by this point for Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, the four, basically the four corner states, Nevada. We're still pretty warm in Texas and Oklahoma, but again, like I said in my weekly forecast, by the time we're approaching the 25th, the warm temperatures are really tapering off and going back closer to average. So again, more good news for Texas and Oklahoma as they've been dealing with that heat wave for so long now. But the East Coast is still warm by this point. Uh, Maine, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island especially. Moving on to the 23rd, you can see there is a little bit of a cool down again for that northwestern region of the United States, Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and Montana. A lot of people complain that I don't talk about the West as much, so I am going to mention them in these videos more. I'm going to try to at least. Sometimes I might forget. But we do have a lot of those greens and blues showing up for the Dakotas, Nebraska, Kansas, Iowa, Illinois, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, all the East Coast there up in the north. And again, a lot of those green temperatures, that's where you're 9 to 15 degrees below average, especially there in the very lightest shades. I see some in Wisconsin and Michigan, uh, as well as upstate New York. So it's going to be pretty far below your average by this point. And again, we see the warmer temperatures starting to subside for Texas and Oklahoma. And Virginia, you're kind of going to average or slightly below average by this point. So the heat wave ends for you by the 23rd, which is really good news for you guys because it's been really hot. I live in Virginia. It's been hot. Now, we're going to move on to your 24th, and again, it's a lot of the same story. A lot of that cool down for Washington and Oregon is starting to move back further west and get pushed closer to the coast, so we are starting to warm up for eastern Oregon and Washington, and Idaho and Montana have warmed up by this point. The cool down is starting to move further east, so Wisconsin, Iowa, Minnesota, Illinois, Michigan... Indiana, the northeastern United States, we're all still cool, but it is moving further east. So the Dakotas are average or above average by this point, as well as Nebraska and Kansas and Missouri. But again, a lot of those greens, that's where you're very far below average. The furthest below average is in Michigan, Wisconsin, Ohio, Indiana, Pennsylvania, New York, and Vermont and New Hampshire. That's where we have some of those lighter shades of greens, which is which is further than 10 degrees below your average which is really, really interesting and pretty far below average. And here's your last frame on the GFS. Again, we see those cooler temperatures starting to taper off by this point. Some of those greens dissipating. So it's going to be going back closer to average after this point. But again, on this model as well, after the 25th, as we get to about the 30th, we see another cool down head into the eastern United States and central United States which is going to bring far below average temperatures if it happens. We're going to need to get a little bit closer for me to be able to see for sure if I believe that it's going to happen. But I would say by the 25th, I'll know if I think the cooldown is going to occur or not. And then we will start making videos for that one as well, uh, as that one could be even bigger than this one. And as we get later in the year, the cooldowns, our averages are going down. So below average means more and more and more colder temperatures. So we'll have to see if these colder temperatures keep uh, occasionally heading into the eastern United States as we head into September. That would be interesting. That could be a sign of a colder September as my September forecast is coming out as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I wanted to mention, please join the Discord server. Again, the pinned comment down below. It's really, really cool, and it's a basically a forum where weather enthusiasts alike can communicate and talk. I think we're approaching 200 members right now. 
So I highly recommend you check it out. It's a really cool place for weather enthusiasts, again, to gather and just talk about the weather or general things. So if you do have a Discord, I would love to see you join that. It's going to be in the pinned comment down below. It's a one-click and you're in type deal, so it's super easy to join. And we have all sorts of fun in there, and we're hoping to have great weather discussions as we get into the winter and hurricane season about hurricanes and also snowstorms alike. Anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys.